following project is a developed design proposal for Archi 212 Architectural Design Integration and was produced in 2014 for Victoria University of Wellington. This proposed cycle cinema design for 36 Newtown Avenue investigates the compromises of building for the bicycle. This intent is based on highlighting the complications and or design opportunities that the emerging Newtown cycleway system may create within urban suburbs. The resulting architecture articulates mechanical, kinetic and proportional elements from the cycle on multiple scales. Within this building the cycle becomes an object to be considered, a point of exhibition and study for a changing urban transportation network. To extend the compromise of the building for the cycle beyond the site, the structure is designed to prioritise cyclists using the greater cycleway network. This creates an eastern facade that leans out to collect passing cyclists. Entry is then effortless and cyclists are not required to dismount their cycle until well within the structure. Long, gentle ramp systems enable large numbers of occupants to quickly disperse once within the building, cycle or no cycle. Customers are encouraged to keep their cycle with them throughout their journey as the object of transportation evolves to become part of the building itself. Critical to the design and representation of the building is architecture for the cycle is storage of the device itself. The ultimate solution was to design a storage rack that merged the building with the cycle. Large suspended mechanical arms that define the greater building's aesthetic are spaced around a large internal void. A bike can then be pushed into these arms that swing effortlessly forward and out to suspend the bike within the void and lock it in place almost as if it was part of the building itself. Triple height sheer glass walls that utilise a 95% transparent film flank the space, putting the suspended cycles on show to all those who pass by. As the cinema is situated in a low wealth city suburb and on a street which currently has very little traffic, the building has been designed so a single person can run the cinema, manage the sales, make coffee and manage the cycle repair centre simultaneously on a quiet day. This is enabled by a stacked service facility arrangement linked through voids and transparent materials, as well as a private centralised elevator shaft. The positioning of the counters in association with the public circulation also allows the single facilitator to observe all people entering and exiting the building, as well as those in the major circulative space. A cinema design for the capacity and community of Newtown on a day-to-day -day basis requires humble considerations. Newtown, and the proposed cycle infrastructure, is not a place of extravagance. It embraces a down-to-earth capacity that yearns for functionality as an essential part of longevity within a design. The cycle cinema embraces this through flexible, easy maintained internal spaces accompanied by intuitive design that is scalable and functional. The resulting aesthetic exposes building services and automated systems as they become part of the real world experience. This is reflected in the building's facade where a mathematically defined net of wire tension tights, steel beams and concrete sections all lie exposed. The structure, live load resisting mechanisms and floor elements all intertwine to express the building as part of the real day-to-day -day Newtown experience.